On one day, there was an appointment with uh, a gentleman from England, a guy by the name of Nick Webb, who wanted to see me about the Master Series. And so Nick came in and uh, sort of presented me with the idea of acoustic alchemy, uh, himself and Greg Carmichael. I pursued it, and we did sign acoustic alchemy. And uh, I guess besides Larry Carlton, acoustic alchemy were the two artists uh, that made the Master Series fly. By that time, I had realized I had signed two very, very spectacular, gifted musicians and, and who were very serious, you know. On the first album, there was a song called Mr. Chow that was a smash. And the first time we heard that, we were thinking, this could be mainstream pop radio. Greg showed me something when we first started playing together, which was a way he had for teaching kids. We were both doing a lot of teaching at the time. And he worked out a way of doing this sort of reggae thing, which is not normally what nylon string classical players do. And I thought this was great. And I thought, why don't we write a tune around that? And we ended up with this rather angular little Chinese melody that I'd sort of shuffled over the top. And he put these chords together, which were really jazzy. And let's just, let's have a go at that. Right. Under no circumstances are these chords simple pop chords. They're no. quite jazzy. But give them a reggae feel. Can you give them a, that's right, that's right. Okay. And we'll put this tune over the top. 